Hello everyone, it's Mr. Megiddo here, and I'm back with game three, and potential de- uh, no, never mind. I th it said that I had changed their decks, apparently not. Uh, excuse me, while I casually change the name to this, because I have not been able to keep up with it. These people have been going too fast before for me to realize. Okay, so. Uh, turn one, Plains. Turn two, Copperlinge Gorge into a Birds of Paradise. Turn three, Mountain into a Lightning Mauler. Turn four, Hinderland Border into a Viridian Emissary. Turn five, Cavern of Souls into a Silverblade Paladin. Um, Silverblade Paladin and Lightning Mauler Soulbind, so they both have haste. Swing block the paladin with Viridian Emissary and into another copper into another copper lion gorge, tapping all of them. All of them? What? Wait, why'd he tap all of them? Um okay. Into a oh no, because Copper Lion Gorge comes in tapped. Okay. Into a Huntmaster of the Fell, bringing in a wolf and giving himself to life. Also effectively blocking the opponent from attacking, effectively. Although, it would be nice for the Huntmaster to be blocked. Uh, the wolf goes and he loses four life. Still kind of confused by that. Then gives... Oh, because they have double strike. That's right. And then also uh, gives the Slayer Stronghold a pump onto whichever one hit. It was not specified. Um, a Kessig Wolf run comes in on our bottom player's turn. Obviously wondering whether he should allow the Huntsman of the Fells to um, flip or whether to play his next card. He does allow it to flip. Oh, wait, no. It does flip from the last turn. My bad. Uh, and then uses it to take out his opponent's paladin, rendering his lightning mauler effectively useless now because of the 4-4. Four four. Uh, top player's turn. It's really uncomfortable. Holy crap. All right, let me try and move you. I'm going to move you just really quickly. It won't be a problem. There we go. There we go. Does that work? That works. And I gotta move that over. Oh god. It doesn't work. <laughs> um, our opponent goes from a plains into something that hasn't been revealed yet. Honor of the Pure again. Giving all of his white creatures plus one plus one. While also going into a Mirrodin Crusader with double strike and protection from black and green. Basically basically rendering most of this deck useless. I see us running 15 green mana, which me which leads me to believe that most of it is in fact uh, green. Also a flip back onto Huntmaster of the Fells, giving him two life and another 2-2 two -two wolf token. Uh, still not able to block, but not able to block the Mirrodin Crusaders still. And going into a Ravager of the Fells, most likely going to be dealing two damage to Lightning Mauler and to our opponent. Or, and to the opponent. Because once again, he cannot kill Mirrodin Crusader. Um, wait, I may have missed something. No, he is, he is proclaimed to be thinking, so we are waiting. Tapping all of his mana. Not using Kessig Wolf Run, but in fact using Zealous cons Conscripts making it so that his crusader, so that the crusader is on his side, unable to attack, 
with the wolf and the crusader. Now, um, give him con give him back control, Mirror and Crusader, putting it back to three three because of honor of the pure. And our top player, at least from what he said probably seems to believe that that is game. That this turn is game. Um, they are unpaired because he did not control both of them the entire time. Because Mirrodin, Mirrodin, Mirin, Mirin. I've been saying Mirrodin this entire time because it's from the Mirrodin set. But no, it's Mirin. Anyway. Mirrodin Crusader did come to the other side of the field. Now, bringing his lightning, lightning Mauler and pairing it with the other Mirren Crusader, and our, for the first time, our bottom player has gone defeated. And going on to another game. Alright, this has been Mr. Megiddo. Talk to you guys later. Peace to then, you GGETS. Goodbye.